أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأثرنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم وجعلنا مما يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسنه اللهم اجعل أعمالنا خالصة لوجهك ولا تجعل فيها حظا لغيرك وصل اللهم على سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة وبركاته Okay, it looks fine now. <clears throat> if at any point it goes soft or anything like that, you can just let me know. Uh, the reason being that I'm not sure whether the battery of this mic is uh, uh, is still fully charged or what. So, anyways, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Alhamdulillah, that you don't feel too rusty in your, in your sorrow for anything like that over the course of the week. How's everyone? Good morning, Alhamdulillah. Your mic is going soft and picks up again, just fluctuating. Okay, let's try something else. And now? Uh, better, Mulana. Okay, if it, does, if it does continue to give any issues, just let me know. Um, maybe I'll just take the mic out all together. Last week I talked about the mic. Okay, so back to our, our lesson, Ibn Allah Ta'ala. We were doing some uh, recap on sort that we had covered last year already. Um, uh, in the form of what we call the Sarf Sagheer. The sarf, sagheer, right? Small sarf. Um, basically, we said the sarf sagheer is a summary of the almost the first words of the main scales that we learn in the sarf kabir. Sarf kabir being, um, you know, the whole drawn out scale of fa'ala, fa'alu, fa'alat, fa'alna, fa'alta, fa'altum, fa'alti, fa'altunna, fa'altu, fa'alna. And then we move on to the present tense and we go, um, and then we do the, the majhul form. And then you do the, the present tense of the majhul form. Um, يُفْعَلُوا يُفْعَلُونَ تُفْعَلُوا يُفْعَلْنَ تُفْعَلُوا تُفْعَلُونَ تُفْعَلِينَ تُفْعَلْنَ أُفْعَلُوا يُفْعَلُوا And then you learn how to negate all of those. You say for the present tense, you add a la before it. For the past tense, you add a la. Uh, for the past tense, sorry. For the past tense, you add a ma before it. For the present tense, you add a la before it. Um, then we would have learned the, how to form the command and the prohibition. In the form of ifal and la tafal. And perhaps you would have learned last year as well how to negate a verb 
um, using lem and how to negate a verb using len. Right? And then this sort of sort here is just a summary of the most important words from that long drawn out sort of So we call that going, you know, just for our reference in the class, we call that going down the scale and this we call going across the scale. Right? And it is something that I think Mullah Khalil introduced you to last year as well. And uh, so I think before we move on to Mazid Fi or Al Mazid Fi in Sarf, let's just go through some of uh, this table that was to be filled out for homework. So we said that, um, well, firstly, can you say it with me, everybody? We're going to start with Fa'ala, and then Daraba, and then Nasara. Let's go, everybody. One, two, three, Bismillah. Fa'ala, yaf'alu, fi'alun, fa'ilun, maf'ulun, if'al, la taf'al. Again. Fa'ala, yaf'alu, fi'alun, fa'ilun, maf'ulun, if'al, la taf'al. Next go. Daraba, yadribu, darbun, daribun, madrubun, idrib, la tadrib. Again, Taraba Yadrib Darbun Daribun Madrubun Idrib La Tadrib. The next one. Nasara Yansuru Nasurun Nasirun Mansurun Unsur La Tansur. Sorry, Bala. Um, sorry, Bala. I'm not sure if it's only me, but maybe that, that when you start, you're just going very fast that first two or three words. <laughs> it's a bit too okay. far. I'm not sure if it's only me. Or, or, or okay, maybe we'll go slower yeah. either way. Everybody. Nasara Yansuru Nasurun Nasirun Mansurun Unsur La Tansur. Actually, I might be going fast because when you how they would actually teach this sort of sahir is like a um is like a uh, not a, I wouldn't say a poem, like a little bit of a rhyme. So it would usually be say like um but oh, I would, I'm just going to take one of this here, a mazid fee, because that's how, how I learned it initially. I would say, Fa'ala yufa'ilu taf'ilan mufa'ilun. Fa'ala yufa'ilu taf'ilan mufa'ilu fa'illa tufa'il. Like a little bit of a, of a rhyme. And I think it's just stuck in my head like that. And that's why I'm uh, saying it a bit fast. But anyways, okay, we we'll go a bit slower. Right? Let's do that last one one more time. Nasara yansuru. Nasurun, Nasirun, Mansurun, Unsur, La Tansur. Okay, now the ones we had to do for homework. So we said Fa'ala means to, to do. Yaf oh, so Fa'ala will be he did. Yaf'alu, he is doing. Fa'alun, doing. It's a verbal noun. Fa'ilun, a doer. Maf'ulun, a done upon. Or a thing that something was done to. Ifal, do, la tafal, don't do. Okay, anybody want to volunteer to do this is just the translation of Daraba? Then I'll go. Bismillah. Okay, so it's he hit. Okay. He is hitting. Right. Hitting. A Good. hitter. Good. Hit upon, hit, and don't hit. Good. So, Mother Ruben, you could just say, I think that was hit, right? Or how you said it's also fine. Nasara, anybody want to give it a go? Mashallah. I'll go, Molina. Bismillah. Nasra is he helped, Yansuru he is helping, Nasrun helping, Nasirun helper, Mansurun a person who was seen being helped, Unsur help, Latansur don't help. Okay, so now we go into the, the ones that were for homework, right? Um, so sometimes these words may have multiple masters, um, mas multiple masadir. So if when we get to the master, I'm just going to ask, you know, which one do you guys have? And the first one that you people tell me, that's the one we're going to go with, right? So the first one we have is Abad Ya Abudu. And then what do you have there? 
عبادة عبادة right that's on our account with as well so عبادة يا عبود عبادة عبيد معبود أعبد لا تعبد I'm going to say it again عبادة يا عبود عبادة عبيد معبود أعبد لا تعبد Next one. Malana, is ibadah in a feminine word? It is a feminine word, yes. But the master, the master can be masculine or feminine. It doesn't have to be uh, masculine. So ibadah, yes, it is a feminine word. It ends with the tamar buta, but that doesn't matter. The master doesn't have to be a masculine word, right? Okay, next one. Rahima yarhamu. And then what you have? Rahmatun. What yes, you Rahmatun. Rahima yarhamu. Rahmatun. Rahimun. Marhumun. Irham. La tarham. Okay, next one. شهيدة يشهد and then what you have شهادة well, I have شهود شهود I have شهود yes okay, this, this, this is a word that has multiple مصادر as well um, it depends on which meaning you're using for شهادة uh, شهود you'd, you'd use for witness and شهادة like to bear testimony to something so if you have shuhud, it's fine. If you have shahadatun, it's also fine. Uh, if you were to check in your dictionary, you will find uh, you will find the two masadir there, but separate from each other. Because they apply to separate meanings of the word. Anyways. Shahida yashhadu shuhudun shahidun mashhudun ishhad la tashhad. Next one. Qatala yaqtulu. And then you have qatlun. Right? Yes, ma'am. Right. Qatala yaqtulu. Qatlun. Qatilun. Maqtulun. Uqtul. La taqtul. I'm going to say that one again. Qatala yaqtulu. قتل قتل قاتل مقتول اقتل لا تقتل and قتل means to kill so he kills he is killing killing a killer a killed thing اقتل kill لا تقتل do not kill next page I'm not going to say fa'al again. Let's do the next one. Fatah. These are all words we, okay, most of them we know. Fatah. You can say it with me. Fatah. Yaftahu. And then what you have? Fathun. Yes, ma'am. Fatah. Yaftahu. Fathun. Fatihun. Maftuhun. Iftah. La taftah. I'm going to say it again. فتح يفتح فتح فاتح مفتوح افتح لا تفتح مستو open um, it can mean to conquer it has a number of other meanings as well next one سمع سمع يسمع سمع سامع مسموع Isma la tasma. Let's say it again. Samia yasma'u. Sam'un. Sam'un. Masmu'un. Isma la tasma. Again, this word, Samia, has a number of masadir as well. You could have Sam'un. Uh, you could have the word Sam'un. You could have the word. سماعة 
all of those are valid. Masadir uh, for the word Samia, yes, Ma'u. Okay, next one. Um, the verb is La'ana. La'ana means to curse. La'ana means to curse, right? So the master for this one is La'anun. So let's say that scale. La'ana yal'anu la'anun la'inun mal'unun il'an la'tal'an. I'm going to say it again. La'ana yal'anu la'anun la'inun mal'unun il'an la'tal'an. Means to curse. So la'ana, he cursed. Yal'anu, uh, he is cursing. La'anun, cursing. Uh, La'inun, one who curses. Mal'unun, one who is cursed. Il'an, uh, curse. La tal'an, do not curse. The next one we have, Ghadiba. The verb is Ghadiba, it means to be angry. And the master of Ghadiba is غضبون غضبون لا تغضبون غضبون right so you can say it with me غضب يغضب غضب غضب مغضوب غضب لا تغضب say it again غضب يغضب غضب غضب مغضوب اغضب لا تغضب تمام ام و ويد يو ويد يو كم اكروس ون اوف ذوز ووردز بيفور ون اوف ذوز وورد فورمز ان السوره فاتحه مغضوب رايت ذاتس اكزاكتلي ام See, this is the answer sheet that I had. No, that's the other one sheet. Molana? Yes. Um you uh we know we look up the Mazdar in the in the dictionaries. So how do you know the Mazdar of must you memorize the Master, certain ones take on uh, um, a pattern like um, some on Fathun, um, but Ghadabun is not taking on that pattern. So how would, how do you specifically know that, that it is Ghadabun? Is it out of memory? Do you just know which words stand out? Or is there a pattern? Uh, for me personally, I think it's just because I've, um... I think it's just from memory. I didn't actually like actively learn it. And for some of them, I'd have to go check as well. But um, I think it's just because I, I know the words and I mean, I've come across the words before. Alhamdulillah, I've been busy with Arabic for quite a, a while, Alhamdulillah. So it just sticks. When you learn a word, when you learn a word, right? Um, you know, if you're one of those diligent people, mashallah, that have a vocabulary, or something like that, then when you learn a word, you should learn the present tense, the past tense, and the master. Um, you should learn the past tense, the present tense, and the master. In fact, um, in Arabic works where they want to give a definition of a word, or they want to give a meaning of a word, they would say it like that. They will say, uh, even if you're looking at the seal book, you'll find, say, for example, you come across a word, um ba'atha. then they will then they'll say had al kalima ba'atha yabathu ba'thun and then they'll give wa ma'na hu or they'll give the meaning. So it's good to just learn words like that. Past tense, present tense, and the master. Um I've so, noticed so, that hmm. yes, you've noticed? Well, I've noticed that with um um, anybody teaching, um, when we come across that, 
they would say it as a rhyme, as a standard form that they will say um, yes. uh, the Sami Ayasma or some uh, yes, as it does. I, I, I never knew where it stems from. It's just part of like the culture of, 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 of how Arabic gets conveyed and taught and stuff like that. It's not a necessity, but it just helps because that gives you all the, the important parts of, of, you know, of a scale. You can derive everything else. You can derive everything else. Um, but you can't make up the master. Right? So, and, and for the first scale, it's also important to know the, for the first scale, it's important to know how to say the past tense and the present tense. For the subsequent scales that we're going to learn, um, we still learn the, the, the word like that, past tense, present tense, and masdar. But it's not really that important because they're always they are always formed the same way. Um, it's not like, you know, with the first scale we have, the middle letter can have a different haraka. The second root letter can have a different haraka on both the past and the present tense. But for the other scales that we're going to learn now, it's not like that. They're all the same, always. The middle letter will have the same haraka, always. Um, so, then it becomes important to learn the root letters and the scale number, but I'll, I'll illustrate that to you in, in, in due time. Let's just finish the, these, going through these words here. That's what we have now. Malana, could I ask you a question, please? Sure, Bismillah. Malana, for the, for the master for Ghaliba, when you look it up in the dictionary, um, in English, they write it out as G-A, D-A-B. Now, when I read that to convert it into Arabic, I put a, I said a sukun on the, on the bar, ghadab. Is that incorrect? Molana said it as ghadabun. It's not, it's not incorrect, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not entirely correct also. In, in Arabic, when we speak Arabic, right, we don't always pronounce the last haraka. Okay. We don't always uh, pronounce the last letter. That's why, um, sorry, we pronounce the last letter, we don't pronounce the haraka. Um, but when you want to be particular, then you pronounce the last haraka. So if you look in your dictionary actually for any word, you'll find it like that. The word sam'un, you'll just find it as sam'a. The word khalqun, you'll just find it as khalq. So it's just, you are just supposed to know that that last letter has a haraka, they don't write it okay. in the dictionary. Because no, no. it can be ghadabun, it can also be ghadaban, it can be ghadabin. It just depends on the context in which it comes, or the function that is playing in a sentence. Right? Mulan, I, I, I also was getting stuck with it, but then I realized the master is uh, essentially a noun. And then you go back to the, you go back to the oh. rules of the noun, it's either has an al order, and in this case will be a, 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 a tanwin. Exactly. That's, that's exactly correct. Um, so yes, it's it's Okay, sure. Something that I was thinking of now. Okay. 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 Yeah. So it's a noun. That's why it has that mean. And and you know that already. If you ask someone, if you ask someone, how are you in Arabic? What do you say? Okay. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> yeah. If I ask how are you, you say you tell them, Kaifa Haluk. Kaifa Haluk. But actually, it depends. If you're speaking to a male, you're supposed to say, Kaifa Haluka. And if you're speaking to a female, you're supposed to say, Kaifa Haluki. But because that kaf is just the last letter, we don't actually say it. We don't specify. We just say, Kaifa Haluk. Right? So. That's also another, um, just one of the norms in Arabic. When you're speaking, you don't say the last haraka. And so the dictionary follows that norm. It doesn't mention the last haraka. It expects you to know what the last haraka can be. If it's a noun, it will normally be a un. And if it's in a different hal, it will be an an or in. Unless it's one of those words that don't get uh, an an, for example. Sorry, don't get the in, for example. A ghair. Munsarif word. You remember that? Or if the word is 
uh, the word is mabni. You remember those concepts? Yes, Malala. Good. Vaguely. Vaguely. <laughs> okay. So, Ghair Munsarif is one that, that declines halfway. It can be Ghadabu or Ghadaba. It won't be Ghadabi. Um, and then Mabni is a word that doesn't decline anywhere. That stays the same. Thalika, Thalika, Thalika. Whether it is in Raf, Nas, or Jar, it doesn't matter. It will stay like that. Okay. Let's just do these last three. Hamala. Hamala. Yahmilu. Hamlun. Hamilun. Mahmulun. Ihmal. La tahmal. Hamala yahmilu. O ihmal. La tahmal. Again. Everybody. Hamala. Yahmilu. Hamlun. حامل محمول احمل لا تحمل احمل لا تحمل and the last one خلق يخلق خلق خالق مخلوق مخلوق لا تخلق again خلق يخلق خلق خالق مخلوق أخلق لا تخلق. So mosquito you're buzzing around my head. Anyways, that was the صرف صغير of the first scan. Are there any questions on that before we move on? One minor question, please. Sure. For the master of Rahima, how does one translate it into English? Just mercy? Is that correct? You can translate it as... Um, uh, a show because of all mercy. the other ones end in in, right? Like helping, worship. Yeah. You can like have showing Allah. mercy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Um, yeah, or... It's literally a noun, so you can, yeah, you can say showing mercy or, um, or you, you can even just translate it as mercy, as pity, mercy, compassion. Um, you don't have to translate it with an ing. It's, it's essentially conveying to you a, a concept. Right, okay. So now we move on. We say the that we were going to be learning al mazid fi in this uh, in this class we didn't actually the first lesson that we did was not actually mazid fi i told you last time that we just call learning the sarf saghir why is that the case what is al mazid fi what is al mazid fi you can see the word uh, there's actually three words there al mazid and he. Right? So let's look at him first. What tell me what do you think the root letters of the word al mazidu e are? What are the, what are its root letters? Now that's a good uh, that's good is. Za Ya and Dal. It comes from the word Zada Yazidu. Zada Yazidu. Now, I don't want to do the sort of of that one because it's, it's a weak letter one and it might make you confused, but it comes from the verb Zada Yazidu. And Zada Yazidu means to increase. Means to increase. Al Mazidu or Mazidun is its ismul maf'ul, a thing that is increased. Fi he, fi in he it. So Al Mazidu fi, 
the increased in it or the thing that is increased in al mazidu fi the thing that is increased in now i'm going to tell you what the opposite of that is the opposite of that in in sort of terms is al thulathi al mujarrad al thulathi al mujarrad remember when we when you started learning sort of last year let me just see if i can pull up a sort of scale from right at the beginning of last year Okay, we'll just call it. Okay, with a simplified name here. Okay, for a while now we simplified it. Anyways, what I wanted to point out was this. In the first scale, right? In the first scale, we were looking at a verb comprised of only three root letters. Of only three root letters. Fa, ayin, and lam. Right? And then we said we can change that fa, ayin, and lam afterwards, but the word is only going to have three root letters, right? Or the basic form of the verb at least is just fa a la na sa ra ta ra ba ka ta ba la ana sa la ta sa mi a ha si ba You can see the main form of that verb is just comprised of three letters, isn't it? If I were to write it without harakat, it would just look like three letters next to each other. The past tense, uh, the past tense form. Now in al mazidu fi, al mazidu fihi, the past tense form has an increase in it. It's not comprised of just three letters. It's comprised of more than three letters. So I want you to follow with me. The first word that we have here, the first word that we have here is this word fa'ala. Can you see that word? And see the word right what's different between this word and fa'ala the shadda on the middle letter right the shadda on the middle letter what does a shadda indicate the letters twice Double. the shadda indicates that the letter is repeated twice or thrice right a shadda indicates that a letter is repeated. So if a letter is repeated here, how many letters is this word fa'ala formed from? At least four. four. At least four, right? Fa, ayin, then ayin again, and lam. So, so if you see where the meaning of mazid fi comes in there, there's an increase in this basic word form. It's not just three root letters, there's an increase. It's now four. Prof. Malana, you yes. said the shadda can could denote um, repetitions up to three. How would you know it's more than more than two? Or are we still going to get to that? Um, no, you identify. You'll know because usually that will be perhaps when it comes between two words or something like that. Um, yeah. When we come across an example of that, then I'll show you, inshallah, and, and you'll be able to recognize. But for now, let's just go with the fact that it's repetition of a letter. 
Right. So is anybody unclear, firstly, on what the meaning of al-mazidu fih is? Just can no, just man. quickly just quickly explain on the again, please. Okay. Al-mazid. So okay. So this is how we explain it. And right at the very beginning of sarf, we start off with a verb. That verb is fa'ala. It's comprised of only three letters. Right? Then we change, we take that fa'ala verb, we put it into a whole lot of different forms. Present tense form, majhul form, past tense, present tense, majhul. And then we change it into negated form. And then we change it into a command and a prohibition. But the very first verb that, that forms that whole first scale is just comprised of three letters. And everything that we learned in SARF so far was based on that verb comprised of three letters. Now we're going on to something comprised of more than three letters. So we call this al-mazidu fihi. A, a word where there is an increase in it. Why is an increase in it? Because we went from three to four. We went from three letters in the basic word to four letters in the basic word. Fa, ayin, the shadda, and a lamb. So instead of it being three, there's now four. That's why we call it al mazidu fi. It is increased in. Right? So that's what al mazid fi means. There's an increase in it. Right. So that's it. What I want you to do with me now is just read the scale on the screen. Right? So let's read it together. Fa'ala. You fa'ilu. Taf'ilan. Mufa'ilun. Mufa'ilun. Fa'il. La tu fa'il. Okay. Let me just go through the, the parts of the scale quick. Firstly, we have the scale number. So if you look at the first one, you see that's the first verb form, the first scale. Fa'ala, yaf'alu, fi'alun, fa'ilun, maf'ulun, if'al, la taf'al. Okay, so we're putting that aside now. Now we're busy with the second scale. So al-mazid fi actually only starts at the second scale because the first scale is the standard. There's no increase in the first one. In the second scale, there's an increase in it. So this is where mazid fi actually starts. How does the how does the second scale sound? We all the scales now we're going to learn in the form of sarf sagir. We're going to learn it in the form of a sarf sagir, where we say the past tense, present tense, the masdar, the name of the doer, the name of the done upon, the command and the prohibition. I'm just going to preempt a question. Or uh, I think I may ask. Yeah, I was going to ask, what does fa'ala mean versus fa'ala? Okay, just, uh, just, just give me a second before we look at the meaning, right? We first just looking at the scale. I first want to just look at the scale. Um, you may just see a slight difference here that here we have this word in for the tanween, taf'ilan instead of taf'ilun. Right? Why is that the case? The reason for that is that's just part. This word taf'ilan can come taf'ilun, taf'ilan, or taf'ilin. It's just, again, part of the tradition of learning Arabic that that word will be put in nasb as part of the, as part of the rain. You, you should say technically it could be taf'ilun, but it's just going with the, with the norm of, of how people teach Arabic language. It's put into nasb just for the rain. Fa'ala yufa'ilu taf'ilan mufa'ilu. Anyway, okay. Mola, please very quickly explain sarf sahir. Sarf sahir is when we're going across the scale, not down the scale. Sarf sahir going across the scale. Where we just learn 
we don't learn, you know, fa'ala, fa'ala, or fa'ala, fa'alu, fa'alat, fa'al. No, we're just going across the, past, the first word in the past tense scale, the first word in the present tense scale, the masdar, uh, the dua, the done upon, the command, and the prohibition. We're going across the scale. Yes, across. Sarb sahir means going across, not going down. So I'm, I'm going to use actually that, going across the scale. So let's, we're going to learn all the rest of our scales just going across. Right? So everybody say it with me again. Fa'ala yufa'ilu tafailan mufa'ilun mufa'alun fa'il la tufa'il. Right? The question on the meaning of it, I'm going to look at that next week, inshallah. Right? For now, I want you to just do the next word with me. I want you to do the next word with me so that you can see how to go about the rest for homework. All right? So let us look at the next word. Nazala. You, you said when we, when we looked at the, the mustard, we looked in the, the dictionary. How would we identify the must? For example, the um, the must Okay. The mustard of this verb you don't look in the dictionary. It always gets formed on the scale of taf'ilan. So you're going to do the next word with me and then you'll see inshallah. Right? So just, I'm going to say the scale and you can say it with me. The first one will be nazala, yunazilu, tanzilan, munazilun, munazalun, nazil, la tunazil. If you look, if you listen to that scale, right? Okay. You will notice that nothing of the form of the word changes from the first one. The form of this word is exactly the same like the form of that word. The form of this word should be exactly the same as the form of that word. The form of this word should be exactly the same as that form. That form, exactly the same as that one. That one, exactly the same as that one. That one, exactly the same as that one. The form stays the same. What do I mean by the form? Any extra additional letters that are added and the harakat, they stay exactly the same. The only thing that we change are the root letters. The fa changes to a noon. The ayn changes to a za. The lam changes to a lam. Everything else stays exactly the same. You don't need to look in the dictionary for how to form the masdar. You don't need to look in the dictionary. You just form it by changing the root letters of this one. Right? So this, this additional verbs that we are learning are a lot more mechanical. There's not, there, there aren't changes like in the first verb. You have to go look in the dictionary for how to say the past tense, how to say the present tense, how to, uh, what the masdar is. No. For these for, for the Mazid fee scales from number two till number 10 that we're going to learn, right? It's just mechanical. It stays the same. If you know the, the template of the scale, all you're doing after that is just changing letters. That sounds too easy. Waiting for the catch. No, there's no catch. Alhamdulillah. Right, so there's a, maybe a catch in, in terms of the meaning. That's why we're going to look at that next week. Right? But in terms of forming the scale, it really is that simple. So, so everybody just say that the scale Mas, number two. Also, I think it's provided that the, the middle letter haraka is the same. Because I'm sure if the haraka changes. The haraka only, doesn't change. Is it? Doesn't? Doesn't. It stays exactly the same. Okay. So it's always going to be fa'ala. It's never going to be fa'ila or fa'ula. It just stays fa'ala. So, the, so that's why I said, alhamdulillah, this one's a very mechanical. Well, there might be some, some added info in the meaning, but for now, let's just go with, uh, with this. Just saying the scale. So everybody say with me. Nazala, yunazilu, tanzilan, munazilun, munazalun, nazil, la tunazil. Right. What I want you to do is, for the rest of the scales that we have here, on this page, and on the following page, 
I want you to just write out the scales. So it's called Al Mazidu Fi, scale two, page one, and then page two of two. I want you to just write out those scales. If you want to, you can attempt finding the meanings by looking at the verb entry in the dictionary and then looking immediately after the Roman numeral two. But don't focus on the meanings, focus just on writing out these scales, right? Our time is up. Um, can you do that for me for next week, Vivian Leitala? Yes, so, Malana. So you're going to fill in the Nazara scale, then you're going to fill in the Kadhaba scale. Kadhaba, you kadhibu, takdiban, mukadhibun, mukadhabun, kadhib, la to kadhib. Lana, can I request something? Or maybe someone who knows where, which lesson it was can direct me. You last year you did the you showed us how to identify root letters and you had a you had a, a principle. I was wondering if maybe you could um either in terms like a, a PowerPoint just to explain um yes, yes. Some of I those. have it somewhere. I, okay. I have it on PowPoint somewhere. If you can, just, if you can um, send perhaps it. remind me um of the class or something to send it to you, inshallah. And inshallah. Then okay. I'll All right, I'm gonna end now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are the host, Mawlana.